I now request the distinguished delegate of USA to make a statement. Madam President and distinguished delegates, on behalf of the US delegation, I congratulate Madam President on your election as a president of this session of General Assembly. Though the threat of terrorism has remained for long, the current time solicit the need to address the issue with greater concern and concerted efforts as a problem has aggravated beyond measure. Terrorism remains one of the most enduring challenges to international peace and security that we face. The need to constrain this peril at the local and global fronts is mandatory to ensure a free and safe life and a prosperous economy. Madam President, the first and foremost issue that glares at us is the fact that the UN has not been able to arrive at a definition for terrorism till date. The UN needs to phrase a definition for terrorism to resolve legal complications with regard to addressing the activities and operations that come under the purview of terrorism. The need of the R is a combined and cooperative effort of the national leaders through international cooperation using international law and respecting civil liberties and human rights. This includes addressing the root causes that lead to terrorism, such as political alienation due to prejudice, state-sponsored violence, and poverty. What is necessary is a comprehensive approach, including continual exchange of ideas and engagement at a global level. It is also important to counter violent extremism by all levels of society and government. Over the years, US had been and is working hard to strengthen alliances and existing partnerships, especially in the arena of counterterrorism. The US intends to boost the political will and the resolve of leaders around the world to confront terrorist threats. If every state becomes equipped to combat and eradicate terrorism within their soil, it would be a great leap towards countering terrorism. In this regard, governments may work towards ensuring effective civilian law enforcement, efficient judiciary and governing mechanisms, and proper delivery of public services to the citizens. Making the judiciary more systematic, more innovative, more effective, as well as providing counter-terrorism training of the security personnel, the police, border officials, and so on, may also turn fruitful. US doesn't encourage the act of paying ransoms in return for the freeing of hostages held captive by the terrorist, for it would only persuade the latter to abduct innocent civilians to demand money. The US government policy states that it will not release prisoners, pay ransoms, or agree to other acts that might encourage terrorism. At the same time, United States will use every appropriate resources to gain the safe return of American citizens who are held hostage by terrorists. Among the activities undertaken by the United States to combat terrorism are the enhanced physical and personal security programs for US citizens, established bilateral counterterrorism assistance programs, and close intelligence and law enforcement relationships with many nations to help prevent terrorism. The United States also seeks effective judicial prosecution and punishment for terrorists and criminals victimizing the US government or its citizens and will use all legal methods to this ends. Thank you.